Hi guys, welcome to this um, ISO Builder. This is about your XVT. So a few days ago we got a message, Termite is dead. And we said long live your XVT. One of the things is we have a special uh, patch which makes F11 our full screen for your XVT. That's uh, one interesting thing. You can of course copy paste elements like this one, Control Shift C and then Control Shift V and you'll have a copy paste. Now we can have so much fun with your XVT and with this website, Terminal Sexy. I've already made third articles about it, so I'm not gonna write anything more, but I will make a nice video for it. Terminal.sexy. In here, well, what do you have to know about your XVT? Your XVT, the settings of the, the tool or the, the terminal is inside X resources. It can be another one as well. I think it's called default or something, but on Arch Linux, the only thing we need to remember is X resources. And just this one, this is just me copying and making sure that I have everything, but this is the one, right? Now I've rearranged, if you update and scale, you see I've rearranged it and I've told you some more information here. Get your color schemes from here. Terminal sexy, copy paste color codes in the beginning. And so this is the begin and here's the end. So in between those lines, the color codes need to go. What color codes? Well, the one from the internet. So. There are, there are so many choices in life, right? There is iTerm, 2 termite and so on. Export, you can export things in different formats. Alacrity is here too, I know people like it. Quark is here, Gnome Terminal is here, Console is here. Putty is here, Terminal App, simple Terminal ST. Termite is here, hmm, maybe not for long anymore. Anyway, these are all possibilities, but the fun stuff is in here. One choice, double click it, then you see what you get. Double click it, one choice, two choices, three choices, four choices. You can scroll down, lots of choices. Then you go to the collections and again, you scroll down, xcolors, xnet.net, uh, scroll, scroll down. So there's so many choices and it's, well, as many people as there are choices, I guess. Hmm, this looks nice. So what do you do? You have found something you like, you export it, format, X resources, export, and this code, exactly that code, well, control A actually, control C, can go in here. Now, me personally, <laughs> I will keep a very close eye on the foreground color, which is more of a white, FF is all white, the background color, I kind of like my dark look, but transparent. So I won't really touch these guys. Cursor color, I can follow the theme, but it's a choice, right? Like anything else, it's a choice. But these guys need to go. Control V. So now I say here that the foreground and the foreground is double and the background and the background is double. So I really want to see what it looks like. Then I just go for a mark like this and exclamation mark like that and exclamation like this. This is the intention of the creator of the scheme, the color scheme. How do I now see it? With a Ctrl Alt T and then NeoFetch in my case, since I have something special there, this is a standard color. Okay, then we're going to apply it with another command. There is this XRDB as command, and then this tilt. And where is it in X resources? Get me that X resources. That's a possibility. I would recommend this one, but we have also another one alias merch which is the merch function xrdb merch with xr resources anyway these two possibilities exist if i do now a ctrl t 
I have UrxVT, it doesn't really show it because I have this flashy lolcat thing, but this is it. So this is my thing from Sexy Thermal. That's the left side. You like it, you hate it, but it doesn't stop there. You need to do a less and do a less here. And which one can you read better? Then you start scripting or running scripts and you say, I can't even read it. So then you know you've not chosen the, the right color scheme. And as you see, one of the reasons your XVT is there is because of this beautiful logo we can uh, use thanks to ZVR, we have these beautiful things. So it's a wide world in the sense that you can do so many things now because we have all these color schemes and I just saw another one I would like to try. Was it Tango or Square? Uh, I used another one earlier on. I said, this looks a nice one. Dot Share, I've been trying Dot Share. Looks great as well. Again, export, export, but then click on the button, button because it still needs to change. Voila. Now it's changed. Let's do it one more time. Just uh, repetitive, right? Education, repeat, repeat, repeat. Eat, sleep, repeat. And then we go back to here. Let's get everything out. Because, of course, you have made backups. Yeah. Anyway, don't forget, guys, in ETC scale, there is always a backup. ETC scale, there is always a backup. The guys who were on Tiling Window Managers know that already. So, nope, not all, not all these things. Ah, yeah, it was one down here. So, alias merch. Well, merch. Let's do this one now. Ctrl T. Neo Fetch, you see already it's black. And we've got this look. It's all black. Don't like my terminals to be non transparent. But hey, there you go. And LL, I don't know if that shows you something. Here at least you see something here as a executable. So executable is green, light green. So, and you can keep on, of course, experimenting because you have the themes, but you can actually go in here and say, no, I'd like that a bit darker. And this one, well, that's actually nice, but if maybe it would a little bit more, and this one is nice, but why not more like this? And so on. And you start by exporting again. You see changing the colors here, 12 was changed. That's my gift to you. I mean, there is so many things to do, not only for X resources, but also for other, other themes that you can export as something else. We can't probably read it, but you'll get it. The one you like and love, like Alacrity, for example, export, it looks different. The format is different, but it will work. And that's the fun. All right, cheers.